Now, residents of Kekam in the western region were left devastated as a horrifying head-on collision involving two vehicles left at least three persons burns beyond recognition. One of the vehicles, a passenger bus running on gas, is said to have burst its tires and lost control, ramming into a private vehicle, resulting in the explosion. So this morning, we'll find out from the Ghana National Fire Service if all these vehicles are in danger of similar explosions in the event of a collision. My name is Divisional Officer Grade 1, Prince Billy Anaglate, Head of Public Relations, Ghana okay. National Fire Service. Well, what information have you been given about the Kikam um, accident? Well, the preliminary investigation that I've been conducted uh, out of the firefighting was uh, they had a call at 20, 32 hours and they got there about 10 minutes. Um, when they got there, they saw that uh, Toyota Corolla and the Hyundai uh, vehicle were actually involved in an accident that has resulted to fire outbreak. But be before the fire service got there, uh, two people, two casualties were actually rushed to hospital and uh, before the firemen got there. So when they got there, they, yes, the fire was in progress and then they have to extinguish the fire. For drivers who drive these gas tankers, what are the safety precautionary measures they should put in place? Yes, uh, th that is uh, our main concern about uh, some of those uh, vehicles, especially tankers that fly our road. Uh, we'll be having meetings with the owners of the tankers and some of the, the drivers as well. And it's important that every driver on the road, first of all, should observe the road uh, regulations and we also ensure that if it is about a fuel tanker, then the, the driver and the attendants should also be taken through fire safety issues in addition to they knowing uh, what the road situation are. We are aware that uh, quite recently, several of those tankers, if not uh, involved in an accident, then there is fire on them. Um, uh, assessment on them realize that m many of those drivers and their attendants do not even have fire safety measures and when the, the issue is coming up they don't even know what to what to do so how often do you take them through their training um actually it's supposed to be every six months but getting them is always a problem the, their availability is not constant so at times once in a year that we are able to take they them have an them. association uh, how closely linked to them is the national fire service every year the chief of officer meets the executives of the association mm -hmm. and he laid down the rules of the executives and they are they are they are important the important aspect is that they should make sure that anybody who employ a driver or an attendant quickly should ensure that they are made available for us to educate we are not on, on the on the track with them mm -hmm. but when the unexpected happened most of those vehicles that got damaged totally could have been protected because some of the fires start small but they don't even know how to use extinguishers uh, on, on some of the track Unfortunately, some of the trucks are also not having fire extinguishers. On the road, fire stations are not by the roadside. If you are not fortunate, it happened at a place that it will take us a long time to get there. Like the, the, this fire that has happened, mm -hmm. it took the firemen about 10 to uh, 12 minutes before they, they got to the scene. That's a big time on fires on vehicles. The complaint is that you are not enforcing the rules. For example, if you train me, I exit that somebody else comes in. How do you know that a car has exited, another person has come in, so you get to train the person? We, we will find it difficult mm. to identify people. Mm. Um, what we do is that we depend so much on the owners of the, 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 the tankers. Mm. Uh, we also always educate them to let them understand that anything we are doing is in their own interest. Mm. They are the very people that will protect their investment more than the fire service will do. We are only trying to ensure, to let you understand that um, you need to do A, B, C, D to protect your investment. So anytime you employ somebody, just bring the person for training and let the, the person have what it takes to identify hazards on your vehicle. For the person to know what to do, his uh, daily routine duties are there. We'll be able to spell out those ones. But it goes beyond training. It goes when you enforce the laws, then you'd, you'd rid ourselves of most of these accidents. Yes. What we do is that all those vehicles, they, they, they have their yards. Mm -hmm. So we'll be closing down some of those uh, tanker yards. When was the last time you closed down such a yard? Uh, that, was, that was just in last year, uh, November. Mm -hmm. when, when five of 
of the, the tanker yards were closed down mm -hmm. for failure to meet our you know fire uh, uh, requirement. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to do it. But the most important thing is we ensuring them to understand and to appreciate the importance of they putting in safety measure. We can get in there and say put A, B, C, D there. And when they have placed those in there, we move out. And when those things are dismantled and removed, what will you say? But when they appreciate the importance of they protecting their investment, I think it is something, whether we are there or not, they will be able to do the right thing. What's your relation with the police like and in checking whether or not vehicles that use our roads have the needed fire safety equipment? We've been training the police. Mm -hmm. We know we have varieties of fire extinguishers. When you are not taken through the training, it will be difficult for you to identify the right type of extinguishers in a car. Mm -hmm. We are very much aware also that some of the, the drivers, um, the recalcitrant ones, they normally use uh, mosquito spray type of extinguishers to outwit some of the police officers. So our training with the police will definitely continue. We might not have all of them to train, but we are ensuring that all the police people will be able to identify and differentiate the, the right extinguisher, the serviceable extinguisher from those other ones that might not work and that are not supposed to be in vehicle. If a driver is moving and he shows a policeman this mosquito spray type of an extinguisher, they are allowed to go. So those are the areas that we are getting into. Let the police understand that we, we have various type of extinguishers. Some are not supposed to be in vehicle. So the mosquito spray type of extinguisher, is it allowed? It is not allowed. Um, last, la early last year, mm -hmm. the fire service went to the market, some of, some of the areas where they sell them, uh, uh, to, to ensure that we remove some from the market. We gave them at least four men to ensure that those things are out of the market. Have you gone back to check whether or not they are out of We the have market? been going, yes. Some people are still selling. When we see it, we see those ones. And we even use the media. We wrote into the media, it was published, that those aerosol type of fire extinguishers are not the right type of extinguishers. But why should somebody buy a vehicle, just walk in to buy anything at all into the vehicle? Meanwhile, you know that is the very thing that will protect um, your vehicle. You see a lot of vehicles burning along the motorway. And I have, I have helped most of some of those drivers to extinguish their vehicle. But should it be that uh, uh, you know, uh, people should be depending on other people's extinguishers in their vehicle? It is not the right thing. Let us all understand that extinguishers are there to protect our vehicle, and even in our homes. Fine. Finally, is the service considering uh, training normal road users like myself who drive smaller cars so they also know how to fight fire? Yeah, what we, what we do is to get to fire, uh, lorry parks to organize uh, people, the drivers there, and anybody available to train them as to how to use those fire extinguishers. We even go uh, beyond that to tell them that for a vehicle to get burned, you will definitely be able to prevent it. That is why it is important that every morning when you, when you kick start your car, you stand in front of it, open your bonnet, and watch in, uh, the, 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 how the engine is working. If there is any fuel leakage, you, you will definitely say, if there is any uh, pure wire that the wires are touching, definitely it will also show that, yes, this can also cause it. So we'll be training people, but it is difficult to get individuals uh, uh, drivers and bringers. So the best area we do that is when we get to the lorry parks to train everybody around the lorry park. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. So stay safe whenever you're using any of these um, implements in your car.